Jennifer Kamahele. I'm the founder of an organization called the Lucky to Serve Foundation um, and the Plastic Project program that I run under that. I'm here to speak on behalf of my generation and the generations after ours, that's my kids, my kids' kids, um, in support of Bill 40. I'm aware of both sides in the situation where adults are torn between convenience, money, business, jobs, and what we're used to versus health, environment, animal where animal welfare and sustainability. I just want to focus on irreversible damage and what that means for me, my future family um, that I hope to have someday and every other child from my generation and after. Last year, um, the Plastics Project was doing a beach cleanup that was all kids run and managed. Um, we saw a Japanese scientist taking water samples um, he was doing all kinds of weird things with glass beakers, and I just had to ask, he, he explained to me, uh, he was studying the effect of chemicals that all the plastic in the ocean have once they finally break down. So this is uh, when they break down smaller than microplastics, when they're just chemicals floating around. Um, this completely freaked me out. So every piece of plastic that was ever created exists today. Uh, a fun fact is, when animals die, um, their bodies decompose, but the plastic does not. Um, I've learned, and I teach about microplastics all the time, but I never really thought about those microplastics breaking down to even further. And apparently, research is being done to it only now. Why does this freak me out? Well, first, it's already pretty bad. We're basically eating plastic all the time. I'm sure most people know that we are now eating plastic every time we eat seafood. But did you know that we drink plastic in our water too? It's in rain, it's in snow, it's literally everywhere. There's more than 8 million tons of plastic being dumped in our oceans every year. That's an estimated one garbage truck filled with plastic being dumped into our ocean every minute. There's currently over 150 million tons of plastic already in the ocean. And what happens when all that plastic begins to break down into chemicals? The ocean is our main source of water, and our main source is oxygen. What does that mean for my generation and the generation after mine? The choices that you guys make affects me, um, and it is causing an irreversible, it is causing irreversible damage to our main life source. 300 million tons of plastic are produced every year. 50% of that is single use, which is just used for a few moments. Did you know that an average working life of a plastic bag is in 15 minutes? and more than one million plastic bags are used every minute. Again, I'm going to use the word irreversible because once this plastic is made, we're stuck with it. We, my generation, and our future can never be undone with the damage and destruction that you guys are making with uh, microplastics and whatever chemicals are being processed right now. I want to catch in one of my Instagram posts from a beach cleanup. My team did as it's not a mess, but it's our world. And the truth is, while we spend hundreds of hours doing beach and neighborhood cleanups, while we remove thousands of pounds of plastic from our beach every year, the cycle is never going to stop unless we stop the source. Doing a statewide phase out of single use plastics needs to start because businesses work and um, they work on supply and demand. I run a business and I understand supply and demand. If there's no demand for single use plastics, plastics Businesses have no reason to su supply. Manufacturers would be forced to create something else, and that's what we need. Our generation is literally watching our planet be destroyed, and we are so limited on what we can do about it. Without the help of our leaders, I can do beach cleanup, I can educate, and I can speak, but it's all up to you. The big changes that we need, like this bill, are in your hands. So here I am asking our leaders to look at the impact and pass Look at the impact that past generations might have, might not have seen, but my generation needs to look at. Plastic is irreversible damage, and our so main source of oxygen and water is at first. I'm asking you to please support Bill Ford. Thank you. You were here earlier this week, weren't you? I was. Could you just tell the folks that are here what you're advocating for? Since you have the podium, I think you did a good opportunity for you. So, um, Ms. Kimberly, Ms. Kimberly Pine actually um, reintroduced my bill as a reso after it was killed last year, and basically it um, it educates tourists before they come in. So, 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 so,
Um, so the current one that we're working on is, I know she started one that has PSA um, and videos, and then I believe the other one. The Keep Hawaii Hawaii Pledge. It's called the Keep Hawaii Hawaii Pledge. Yeah. We just educating our visitors to Alama La Aina, Take care of our garbage, take care of our weeds. Yes. yes. And then, but by the way, Mary, you say you are awesome. Thank you. You are an and more important than a lot of people in this building. And for that, I thank you very, very much. Thank you. Um, may I ask uh, your name one more time? Riley from Kamehameha. Riley. And how old are you, Riley? I'm 12 years old. And how long have you been advocating? Since I was eight. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Really appreciate your testimony. Thank you. Okay, you didn't have questions earlier this week. I did not. Okay. I, actually, I actually did my presentation with a broken foot. Oh, so, wow. just found out. So, um, <laughs> Jerry Meredith, you know I have a question. Um, I am actually homeschooled.